guys! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the new merge feature in MD 5.5. So previously, in MD 5, we could only merge symmetric patterns by simply right-clicking on one of the inner segment lines and selecting Symmetric Merge, and then it would be merged nicely. Let's undo that. Now let's say we're going to remove the symmetry on one of them, because maybe we want to make this edge here longer, and we don't want the other side to be the same, we want it to be an asymmetric dress. Or because we want to add something small to one side, or change something, make it a bit tighter, a bit longer, whatever. So let's just undo that, and remove the symmetry. Okay, now they're not symmetric. And previously, in the version of MD5, before the latest update, we couldn't merge them together again. So let's say we finished here making this part longer, we're happy with it, and we want it to be one piece the front. Because you can't have this line going down the front. Oops, let's just make her decent. You can't have this line going down the front in your final clothing item, unless you want a design that has that. But otherwise, if you apply textures, floral, lines, dots, whatever, or you export it to ZBrush, you're going to have this ugly connecting thing here. I can hide seams, and it appears not to be there, but if we apply a texture, you'll see in the center, the texture is, you know, being cut. So we definitely don't want that. We want to merge them into one piece. And the reason why I have them shirts and dresses and things like that always as two pieces for the front and for the back is because I like to have them symmetric, at least to start off with, and then when I modify the width, the length, the height, etc. on one side, it does the same thing on the other side. And then I have the same lengths and there's no problems with the sewing, everything is nice and like it should be, and then when I'm, when I'm done, then I merge it together. So as I was saying, before in MD5 we couldn't merge something that wasn't symmetric, but now if we right click, you can see there's this grey option merge. Now, unlike the symmetric one, where you can just right-click on one line and say symmetric merge, the merge function works in the way that you have to select the two lines you want to merge, hold down shift to select the second line, and then you can see it's now grayed out, it's white, and we can merge the dress together. How nice. Now, wherever that we merge, you'll see there's this line, which is hide textures. And also, we get a point and a point added towards merge. Now, it doesn't have to just be two patterns that were symmetric, it can be any patterns that you want to merge together. So let's take a look at something here. I'm going to make a square, and then I'm going to make another square. Let's say that we want to merge this together, for whatever reason. Could be we made some design, and then we thought, oh, it would be nice if this complex design, let's say this was very complex, you know, things sticking out that took us a long time to make, if this was part of this, and we didn't have to make a point here and start, you know, pulling it out, trying to make it like that one, adding other points and, you know, that kind of stuff. So instead, if we could just merge it together, how nice that would be. Well, we can do that now and quite easily too. Let's see what happens if we just select these two lines that are different lengths, different lengths, and then merge. We get a bit of an unpredicted shape. Basically what it's doing, if we undo that, you can see it's sort of making this point come up to here and this point to here because it's not the same length so it's trying to adjust them together you can see this point jump to here and this to here sort of to fit now if we didn't want that if we wanted it just to come off this edge edge here or to come off the middle or whatever then we have to add a segment point with this segment point tool here at exactly or almost exactly as close as possible the same length like this here. So this is 115.7. So I'm going to right click and type in 115.7. And as you can see, I actually got it spot on without typing it in. Okay. And then if we select with our edit pattern tool, this line, hold on shift, select this one, right click, merge. Then we get this shape that we wanted, not that stretched shape. Though it can be interesting if you did want to have a stretched kind of shape, you know, you can play around with it. If we make this a bit wider, we merge these together, you can get some interesting results. But if you want to control it and have it merge exactly where you want it to be, you can merge it in the middle, wherever. Then just take your split line point tool and then right click and type in the number. And then with your edit pattern tool, select these two lines and merge. 
Another time where you might want to use the merge function is, let's just move this point up here where it belongs, is let's say we made some crazy kind of design for a dress and we cut different parts into different parts, okay? Let me just make a few more cuts here. All right, so we've got different pattern pieces now instead of one. And then let's say we didn't like it and we don't want to go into our history, into our undo history and, and go back steps because maybe we did some other stuff on sleeves, on pants and whatever. That's nice and we don't want to lose that. But we want this to be one piece again. Well, in previous versions of MD, we'd have to, you know, either sew it together, but that would show those lines where it's sewn, or bring it up really close together and then take our pattern tool and start tracing things out and trying to get it to line up and all that kind of, you know, time consuming stuff. Well, now we can simply take our edit pattern tool, hold on shift, select those two lines, oops, come on, merge, and here too, merge, and we've got the one dress again instead of the separate patterns. As you can see where it was merged, it adds a segment point up there and one here and it also has that line. Now if you don't want those segment points you can always delete them. Do be aware though if you have curves or sewing and you delete the point it will delete the curve and delete the sewing. So if you want to get rid of an unwanted point without harming your sewing as you can see it didn't just delete the curve it also got rid of my sewing. The best thing to do is right click convert to curve point convert to curve point then go in with your edit curve point tool and if you don't want that curve point you can just delete it um yeah it was this one and this one and then you can see we still have our sewing we still have our curves and no harm done and then we could go ahead and do the same thing with these points if we want now if these lines disturb you you can always copy and paste this pattern and uh, sew it all together with the other ones, etc. But I don't, I don't think they're very disturbing. In fact, they could be useful if afterwards you decided that you did want it to be separate pattern pieces instead of one, and you didn't want to do undos, then you can just take your internal line tool again, and your curve tool, and just make a new line, and then go ahead and cut that one, and then go through the whole story again if you feel like. Or just use the undo. Alright, so that's the merge function, and I think that's really, really, really useful and a great feature I've been waiting a long time for. So, I hope this tutorial helps you, and check out the next ones for the other new features in MD. Oh, and yeah, you might be noticing her boobs are sticking out here and stuff. Um, you simulate. That's gonna be fixed. Alright, so, see you in the next tutorials.